division that has South in it. Ooh. The AFC South don't look now. Mm-hmm. Okay. <sighs> they starting to become the AFC beast. Yeah. You know, everybody starts talking yeah. about how strong all these other, you know, divisions are. And mm-hmm. the AFC South was a laughing stock. Had more wins in the playoffs than the NFC East. Just how about that? would like to let everybody yeah. know. That was, see, that was a rookie quarterback. Guy. So he's going to be here for the next 20 years in the AFC South. That Tennessee Titans say, we got Will Levis. Mm-hmm. We certainly We don't know what we have in him, but we got him. We got Callahan coming in. You know, he's selling uh, repair parts for the yep. American man. Yep. Yeah, yep. Because that's exactly. who he is. And that's who he works for. That's, that's who he, he works for. That's who he cares and he's for. bringing his dad in. Exactly. His dad Tom, did the same exact yep. thing. Who knows what the offense will look like with the Titans. They're going through a full rebuild, reculture down there. Maybe Will Levis is a guy. But they signed Mason Rudolph yesterday off the Pittsburgh Steelers. The big one. Remember, Pittsburgh Steelers, Mason Rudolph at the end of his career at Pittsburgh Steelers, lighting up the scoreboard, throwing it around. The entire city of Pittsburgh was chanting this man's name when just a year before that they were hoping that he would get out of town. Big baby face turn for Mason Rudolph because how he played on the field, how he carried himself. And I think he would say he became the best version of himself while he was at the Pittsburgh Steelers. Pittsburgh Steelers fans fell in love with Mason Rudolph. He's now at the Tennessee Titans. Whoa. Tennessee Titans fans go, okay, well, Levis, Mason Rudolph, we got guys that can spin a little bit. Yeah, for sure. Fans weren't the only ones that saw that happen. Mm-mm. Yeah. Other players around the league saw that. Yeah, yeah. Right. very quick. They saw it very quickly. Free agents around the league saw that. Calvin Ridley said, get me to Tennessee. Now. Yeah. Yeah. I need to be in Tennessee stacked. Mm-hmm. Calvin Ridley represented by Mulligetta. Mm-hmm. Mulligetta posted a photo of this moment right here where Calvin Ridley agrees to a 90 plus million Jeez. dollar deal with the Tennessee Titans to play wide receiver opposite of D Hop, mm-hmm. I believe, yep, which yep. is uh, quite a tandem for the Tennessee Titans to have here in the AFC South. But Mulligetta gets another deal done. And a lot of people are saying he, Calvin Ridley was linked to the Patriots, Calvin Ridley was linked back to the Jags. Nobody had the Titans in play. Soon as Mason Rudolph gets signed by the Titans, Calvin Ridley and Mulligetta knew exactly where they needed to go. This comeback story for Calvin Ridley is a beautiful mm-hmm. one. Mm-hmm. I'm incredibly pumped and proud of him. I'm happy for him. We don't know him at all other than just watching his story from afar he's a man obviously was suspended for a year found himself if you read the oh, what's that one from Players Tribune? the yeah. players tribune article that he wrote basically talking about him being the best version of himself taking the year suspension to learn about himself get everybody's mm-hmm. list as a patriots fan i wanted calvin really very bad the colts you wanted calvin really i know tony even threw his hat mm-hmm. in the ring with calvin really and you know obviously with mike williams getting released from the chargers you know yesterday that adds to the market so as a fan of a team who didn't get him you hope that you can kind of yep. set your sights on the next guy up mike williams but but at the same time, I saw a lot of Titans fans reacting to it. Super pumped. This is awesome. And then finding out he was 29 years old has kind of changed some people's mindsets. I, for one, do he not care. He doesn't play like he's 20. No, no who gives no, a no, shit? No, yeah, no. I, I do and not care. And 29's your prime. They say like your the peak body is what, 28 to 30 or mm-hmm. 2 or something. And he didn't like take that. hits for a year and a half, almost two years. Yeah, yeah, which I guess you can add on as a benefit. He's asking what the hell's going on. Had questions when Vrabes was fired. Yeah, right. Yeah. When, you know, maybe A.J. Brown was traded on draft. Yeah. Whole new vision for what the future should look like. And now you're kind of watching them build it. And uh, I think there's a connection to Jacksonville as yeah, well. Yeah, uh, his wide receiver coach is now in, in Tennessee. I guess they got a, they got along very well. But, like, the Titans could have went two ways after Vrabes gets fired and Derrick Henry's gone and Tannehill's gone. Like, it's the end of an era there. And they signed Lloyd Cushenberry, who was one of like people had as like the top center on the market. Mm-hmm. And then they go get Tony Pollard. Now they go get Calvin Ridley. So they like they made additions to those are three big additions to their offense for Levis. If he's going to be the guy going, what's forward. the deal in the AFC South? Well, they know they know it's the best. They know it's the best uh, division in the in you the don't, league. You don't have to say that. You, I understand where you're coming from because the AFC North is pretty good. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. They just got better we, with Derrick Henry coming in there. Yeah, Derrick Henry in his press conference yesterday, she all cool he looked so big mm-hmm. it's a no-brainer he said and then like hey Derek after we heard it we all thought like of course he's a ball <laughs> yep. yeah, that's like a perfect fit for them so the obviously there's great divisions great teams everywhere but the AFC he's, he's so big so fast so strong huge and now he has like a chip on his shoulder probably because the Titans the team that he's only been with are like yeah we're yeah. Kind of moving on Done. but there's yeah. no gimmies like there, like in, you're talking about in the north and uh in the I, south there's no gimmies, no, there's no. no gimmies like there's a lot of divisions where there's no gimmies and, and I think the south is one of them for sure yeah it's becoming that Houston Texans make a lot of plays Tennessee Titans make a lot of plays 
Indianapolis Colts signed Joey Flack. No big course. deal. He'll be joining us in about 30 seconds or so. Cannot wait to talk to him. Because we were very confused by his market. Because Jameis goes to Cleveland. Mm -hmm. Jacoby. Uh, Jacoby goes to New mm -hmm. England. Mm -hmm. Darnold. And he had ties Darnold to goes to Minnesota. Mm -hmm. Tyrod to the Jets. Marcus Mariota goes to Commanders. Washington. Commanders. The Commanders. Minshew. Goes to the Raiders. So, like, backup quarterbacks – Starting quarter, whatever you yeah, know, yeah, Mid hybrid quarterbacks, yeah, yeah. competing, mm -hmm. hybrid quarterbacks because that might be what the new NFL is, yeah, with how know. many backups played last year. Bingo. Might be like, hey, you're gonna need a whole quarterback room. I, I, a lot of people had that vision in the past, like, I'd say a third of the league was like, hey, you need a good backup, and you're paying a good backup too, just in case, because if your guy goes down, you're screwed. Then there's some teams that were like, well, if your guy goes down, you're screwed, anyways, yeah, like, even if you get the best backup, are you gonna be able to go, for instance, like. Peyton Manning, I think there was a mindset like Jim Sorge was an incredible quarterback, but Jim Sorge had to go to the Giants to get like a good deal. Like there's no good deal coming from Bill Polian with Peyton Manning as your quarterback. Right. Yeah. The good deals were all spent on wide receivers, tight ends, uh, Peyton Manning, running back. You know, that's where we're spending our money. If Peyton goes down, yeah. We're screwed. We're it's not going to win many yeah, games. Yeah, we're, we're, we're screwed anyways. That's kind of like his mm -hmm. mindset. But now it feels like more teams are like, hey, got to have at least somebody. Yeah. Thank God we had Gardner Minshew last year in, yeah. in yeah. Indianapolis. Got to be able to have a guy that can do it. Matt Hasselbeck came in for Andrew Luck. Mm -hmm. He won us a bunch of games whenever we weren't supposed to because Andrew Luck gets hurt. It's like very vital role. He's in Tennessee now from Pittsburgh. There you Congrats. go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Congrats. Dave Mace. Congrats to Mason Rudolph getting a new place, a new face, obviously, down in Nashville. To We assume back up Will Levis, but, hey, you never know. Yeah. You never know you in that entire thing. Know. But as soon as Mason Rudolph signed over there, Calvin Ridley ended up with the Tennessee Titans for $92 million deal, negotiated by Mulligetta that saw $50 million mm -hmm. guaranteed for a wide receiver at the age of 29. Congrats to Calvin Ridley. Yeah. yeah. AJ, how do you feel about it for Calvin Ridley? We did not even hear that the Titans were anywhere near. Why did this? Why did this kind of play out like it did? I saw. I know he said something chestnut checkers, all of that. How did this? How did they keep this all under wraps? And also, like, why did it, the timing was a bit weird too? Why wasn't it early? I'm not 100 percent sure. This is a mulligan operation, though. Mm -hmm. That's you know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they, their whole plan worked. This is un, unbelievable deal. Awesome. Good for you. I just I would love to know all the behind the scenes and how it all played out. Yeah, me too. And I would also like to hear what other teams were actually interested, as opposed to the teams yeah. that are just being talked about as being interested. And then Tennessee maybe just being able to slide in. Deck, I believe, or outdoor deck yeah. in the world. Uh, mm -hmm. Rooftop bar. Rooftop yes. bar. Yeah, yeah biggest rooftop bar. I think Nashville, big rooftop bar place.